house tonight. Appreciate the Bible study tonight, singing. I'll give you the opportunity to testify. Lord, may be person to speak.
is the moment. Well, if not, uh, please turn your Bibles to uh, Revelation chapter 22. Dear most gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Jesus, for another opportunity to be in your house. We thank you, the Lord, for the testimonies, the Bible study, and everything that's occurred tonight. But we thank you, Lord, for the singing. We pray, God, tonight that your Holy Spirit would just guide us through the remainder of the service, Lord, as we look at your word, that you would just speak to hearts, that you would call upon them that are outside of you, Lord, that you, they would just know that you love them. We pray, God, that they will accept you as their Lord and Savior. We pray tonight, Lord, for all of us, Lord, to be more like you each and every day and have the love of God just flow through us that we might show that love to one another. We pray, God, for our church, that one another, that we just uh, console and be together and just lift you up in all things. I love you, Lord. I pray, Lord, tonight that you just use me for a little while and give you praise and glory for it all. In your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Uh, I want to talk to you some tonight. I, uh, I, I got quite a few notes, and it'll be like this morning, hopefully. I need to go by them. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, I, I just want to talk to you a little bit tonight uh, 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 about this. Uh, we can find in Matthew chapter 25, probably around verse 34, uh, the Lord is talking here and uh, explaining something. That is where the goats and the sheep are separated and uh, uh, he has brought them all, and he says that uh, he looks at, uh, to his right hand and the sheep, and he points to them and tells them, come and inherit the kingdom of life that my Father has prepared for you. Now, I want to talk to you some about the difference between the Father's blessings and the, and the Lord's. I know uh, uh, a little bit about, you know, I, I don't want to get too deep here, but the, the point of it is, is we've got God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. My Bible tells me that all three of them are one, but yet they're coexisting and be able to do the things that are necessary for us. And, and uh, in the kingdom of God, each one has a representation or, or the thing that they need to do. But here, the Lord is going to come back one day, and we're looking for him now. He's going to come out of the eastern sky. Because he said that he would. It's just like the lightning, as I said this morning. Comes from the east to the west, so the Son of Man will appear and come and regain us. And we can go home and forever be with the Lord. Now, I'm looking forward to that. Not so much in separation, but everybody is go it's going to be wonderful. Well, for one time in my life, I'm going to understand that there's no sin. Uh, amen. I I'm looking forward to it. That's what I'm looking forward to. Now, it can be a sad time. I understand that. It, it, and it will be a sad time for a period of time. Those that your family or your friends that thought that they had the Lord or we should witness them and they didn't make the right decision, it's going to be a sad time. And we look at this tonight, and I, I, I want to point out a couple of things. I'll refer to uh, uh, Matthew chapter 25 for this because God has ordained and planned heaven for you and I. God the Father. 
The Lord Jesus Christ was subject to him even unto death. He done that. Eternal life is a free thing. I didn't say it was cheap, but I'm telling you right now, it is absolutely free. The Bible says anybody that calls upon the name of the Lord can and shall be saved if they come with a contrite and broken spirit and broken heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. They can call on him and be saved. That is an absolute gift of God the Father. He has planned that from the foundation of the world. But we see here tonight that the Lord, throughout my lifetime and your lifetime, and from Adam all the way up to the last person, we will receive some type of rewards in our lifetime. And I want to just point out a few of those tonight. I, I want us just to look at that. Uh, uh, it is, uh, we, we should be about the Father's business, that's what the Bible says. Uh, but uh, but uh, uh, as I said, Christ is the one that gives us those rewards. And, and so uh, each of us have to have a record of being a good giver. We can do that. Each of us have that opportunity to be a good giver. And we find that in Matthew 10 and verses 40 through 42. What he's talking about there is uh, the cup of water. A uh, cup of water. We can all to participate in that. We, we can, anything that you have ever done, from a heart to God, and whether it's down to the smallest thing is bringing a cup of water to someone, it'll be uh, recognized in that day. Uh, you will be rewarded for that. Uh, uh, we are, we are, should strive to do that. We should strive to do what God wants us to do. It's not just for us. Uh, I often talk about uh, my grandmother and, uh, did different things, and I, I think back of those, and uh, my wife does that sometimes now. Uh, uh, you can stir the pot, so to speak, so that it doesn't get stale. That's what sometimes we need to do with our heart. Uh, we need to stir it. And, uh, it's in there. I promise you, if you've ever been saved, it's in there. Uh, sometimes the, the fire gets a little weak. Uh, the coals get a little amber in it off to the side and uh, get a little cool. And what we need to do is poke them. Uh, stir the fire back up. And that's what God tries to do with us. And he wants us to be a, 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 about the, what the Lord wants us to do with each time because uh, he's coming quickly as we know that tonight. But everything, each of us have a record. We can all be a gift. We can do the things that the Lord wants us to do and to help one another. In the, in the sense of that. But we can strive also to have a, a record of, uh, of good words. James talks about the, uh, uh, He says that those that control the tongue can control the whole body. But uh, uh, Matthew uh, 12, 36 and 37 talks about this, that, that our words, some will be good and some will be bad. Uh, and it, it, it's really important here. Uh, it's not out of what I say, it's out of what I do. Uh, but, but the things that I say come from my heart. Uh, and that's what James talked about. If you talk ugly, your heart's ugly. Uh, if you talk good, your heart's good. Uh, your, your actions tell all from how you really are. Uh, it, are you really a father? Are you really a Christian? Are you really doing about the father's business? As we say, we, it, it, it tells off in our actions. And that's what we're talking about Sunday night, a couple of things that the Lord blesses or rewards us for. Uh, we can strive to have a record of ministry to the unfortunate. That's found also in Matthew 25. It's really there in verses about 34 here. And I'll go over there to that. You can turn if you like. If you don't, that's fine. Uh, but he says here, Then shall the king say unto them, uh, on his right hand, come you blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you for the foundation, from the foundation of the world. So God has prepared a place for us to spend eternity. God the Father. Uh, that's that salvation. But he goes on, he talks about, I was a hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. Naked, you clothed me. I was sick, you visited me. I was in prison, you came unto me. Then shall a righteous answer him, say, Lord, whence thou saw we thee in hunger and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When you saw uh, we thee a stranger took thee in, or naked and clothed thee, or when saw we sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, insomuch as you have done it unto the one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire, 
prepared for the devil and his angels. So uh, tonight, those things that we do uh, to help others, uh, it, it will be rewarded. I, I'm not a Christian to be helping people just to make a check mark on some kind of bulletin board. Uh, it should be something from your heart that you love people. And it, uh, it should be evidence that God's love is in our hearts so that we'll be able to share that love to one another. And that's what it's all about. He will be rewarding you and me for the faithfulness of, a, uh, of doing what he had called us to do, uh, to be uh, faithful to him. And that's the other thing that we should do. We should strive to be faithful in our service while we're here upon this earth to do the things that God has called us to do. Uh, we can all be faithful and loyal and dependent upon Him and trustworthy and, and keep, where He can count on us tonight. So uh, we see this in Revelation 22 that uh, He's coming quickly, but He's bringing that reward with Him. Thank you, Lord, for coming quickly. Uh, we need Him to come quickly. The Apostle John said, please, Lord, go ahead. He said, come quickly. Come on. Uh, 2,000 and some years ago, he said, Brent, come on. I'm ready to go now. Uh, we get that way sometimes in our life. I know life is enjoyable, but but we know tonight that a God is Christ is Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Everything that was made was made by him. He's, a, he's the a beginning and the end. As I said, he's the first and the last uh, tonight. He's, he, everything is consistent about him. <laughs> Oh, that's why he's all praise and glory goes to, goes to the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Uh, uh, we can look forward to those rewards, but I'm looking forward to the Lord coming back. I enjoy my life. I've been blessed, but I've still got a longing and always have one since I got saved when I was 13 to go to heaven. Uh, I long to get there and to see him. Uh, there's benefits to it. Uh, there's benefits to get to see other people and talk with them and enjoy them. But once and for all, I get to see Jesus. The one that died for me on Calvary. And those nail scarred hands uh, that will be there. And him sitting beside the heavenly Father. Uh, what a glad day. We sung about some of it tonight. Uh, the angels, I, I always used to hear this. I'm sure it's still true. Uh, uh, I heard old preacher say, when we get to heaven and we start singing Amazing Grace, the angels will have to take two steps back because they don't know understand that. Only you and I know that. Once lost, but now I'm saved. A sinner saved by grace, uh, by, the, by the love of Christ. Uh, praise His holy name. Uh, he, he should be glorified. Uh, you should thank him in the morning when you wake up uh, that you've got another day, like I said this morning. Uh, but you should be thankful when, when you toss and turn and you sweat uh, that the Lord's favored upon us tonight. Uh, he allowed us to have another day. He's good to us. We don't deserve it. Uh, I'm thankful that Jesus uh, is coming again. But we're to work for him, to do for him. There's a difference in giving. There's a difference in acting and to doing the things that God wants us to do tonight. Uh, we can give uh, tithes grudgingly, or you can give uh, tithes out of the joy or the love in your heart. Uh, 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 it's just a difference. But we need, we need the Lord. We need him uh, tonight. I need him, and I need him in the morning, and I need him next week. I need him to make it home. I need him to make it through the night. Uh, he should be praised and honored in all things we do. I think sometimes I just back up on him a little bit and don't put him first all the time. I, I know he's my Lord and my Savior, but uh, we need to give honor and glory to him in all times. Uh, and he, everything that we do tonight. I just wanted to share with you tonight about uh, this rewards. It, uh, uh, we, we, need to, we need to work for the Lord. You just love him with all our hearts. Uh, that's what we need. That's it. Love one another. Love those inside. Love those outside. And I'm not talking about the building. I'm talking about those in Christ and outside of Christ. I'm talking about us as loving one another as a church family. Uh, when you can do that and you abandon in that, it can't do nothing but grow. It can't do anything but grow. God uh, manifests itself more and more. Uh, whether the lights go out or not, the, the Lord will show up. 
Uh, uh, that's what I want to look for. That's what I need. That's what the Lord, uh, uh, I long to feel his presence. Uh, uh, I enjoy preaching, but <coughs> tonight I just wanted to thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for allowing us to be here tonight. Uh, thank you for you. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, but I just wanted to share this with you tonight that uh, we, we have a job to do. Uh, we can do it and strive to do the best that we can because we love the Lord. Uh, he laid down his life for you and I uh, tonight. I appreciate you and love you tonight. Uh, Brother Robert, uh, y'all will get a song tonight. I don't know somebody in everybody's heart. I don't know if you know the Lord as your church, the Lord and Savior. That's between you and the Lord Jesus Christ. But I promise you this. Uh, he's got outstretched arms for you if you don't know him. He's, he loved you, and he, he died for you. He died for me. He died for the whole world, and he loved you. There's nobody that can love you as much as the Lord loves you. Uh, uh, you say, Mama loved me. Huh? She may have. Grandmother may have loved you. Good. Grandpa may have loved you, but I promise you now, you'll never be loved and kissed on and hugged up more than the Lord loves you. Uh, the blessings that he has for you. And the goodness that he had. Just to get under that and allow the Lord to flow through us tonight. Why are you standing in your feet?